Right, just like that, we are back to see Cow 447 on our little journey to happiness and real comfort. This is the Hoof GP, and this is Cow 447's story so far. And I won't let it rush when I see you dance, and the moment comes when I fall, and time goes slow. I fall into you. So, as you can see, Cow 447 was in a terrible state when we first saw her around two months ago. This front left foot had a real issue within the white line. As we trimmed away, it just seemed to get worse and worse. We did everything we could during that first trim, but it was pretty extreme, as you can see. The block and the bandage were hopefully gonna do their thing, and we would return a few weeks later. And just like that, we did return those few weeks later, and this is how our foot was looking then. Truth be told, it wasn't all that much better. In fact, it actually tracked even further up the white line and we had to remove virtually the whole entire wall from her inside claw. This is how her hoof was looking at the end of that trim. And as you always say, this is hopefully the start of the recovery process and the route back to a healthy hoof. Anyway, fast forward four weeks and here we are back on the same farm with cow 447, all ready and waiting to get into the crush. Here's how she's walking today before we look at her hoof. Clearly right now, she is pretty much pain free and walking pretty much perfectly actually, but that block is acting as a crush. No, it's acting as a crutch, not, <laughs> not a crush. If we take a closer look, you'll see that that block has elevated the sore part of her hoof completely off the ground. So it may be that that hoof has got worse. It may be that it's got better. It may be that it's just the same as it was last time. The only sure thing to know is that once she's in the crush, we will know exactly what the state of this hoof is. And just like that, Cow 447 is back in the crush. We'll just lift all of her feet and we'll give them a really quick whip round because when she's sore on one foot, she's putting more pressure on the other three feet, so problems could arise there. I don't think they will have, but we should check because she's in the crush anyway. Told you it would be quick, and like I said, there was nothing wrong with them, but it's still worth doing. I'm not 100% sure if it looks good or not yet. The proof will be in the trimming. Just try to get a sneak feel in here. So my immediate thoughts are that it's looking pretty good, and obviously she is walking well, but like I said in the intro, I really don't know if this is doing all of the work and this hasn't really healed or not. My concerns straight away are, if we come up here, you can see loose and detached hoof horn here. And my initial thought is that might delaminate right across the sole, but hopefully not. It does indeed delaminate, which is, maybe isn't the worst thing in the world. Don't worry, we've not lost hope yet. actually smell as bad as I thought it was gonna to be fair. Now I did pick this cow to trim and to show you guys trimming because I knew this would be a difficult case so I'm not surprised that it's taken so long to get her to this point. It is, I think this is looking good. This white crumbly stuff kind of looks rubbish but it's called pith just because this foot is so high off the ground because of this block that the hoof horn is drying out and naturally falling away. Oh, so delicate. I'm just constantly thinking, pull that in and curve it away straight away, Graham. Curve it away, Graham, before you cut deep. In, round and pull it down. In, round and pull it down. Right. I'm avoiding this area because I know this is the worst part of her foot and I'm almost quite apprehensive to see what's underneath it. 
If we look in close, you can still see the striations of her foot. And if we glance back to how she looked in the last video, you'll see that it is an improvement. In this last video clip from the last time we visited her, you can see the striations and the, the lamina corium digging right into her foot and being completely exposed. That isn't the case now if we look here, but it still looks far from perfect. Oh, look at this. Just as I'm holding her foot, I noticed this actually. That's something we're gonna to need to investigate. Not right now, though. Oh, oh, look. Oh, we're getting there. This is really, sometimes when I'm filming, I forget to um, to talk you guys through this because I'm so keen to see the results. This is looking good. This is looking really good. Still need to be very careful because you can still see some of the lamina corium there. That's what these lines are. If we actually spray this out, we should get a better picture. Do not graze her. Come on, Graham. In the pursuit of trying to get back to perfect hoof horn, sometimes you can go too far. And that is what I am desperately trying to avoid here. Oh, when she flinches like that, it doesn't help. This part here will be the delicate and troublesome part, I would imagine. It's weird, I find myself holding my breath sometimes when I'm trimming. I don't know if it helps, but I definitely seem to find myself doing it. We're just going to dish this little tiny bit here out. Get rid of that. This is truly a fantastic result. I am really, really happy with this. She's almost recovered. She will need trimmed again, there's no doubt about it. And if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe or follow the Facebook page because otherwise you won't get a notification. But yeah, we're well on the way to recovery here. We just need to get this little last bit filled in and iodine will help that. We're going to soak that off, but we haven't finished this trim. We're going to need to remove this block, which is something I don't always do, and check what's underneath it because I'm worried that there's a problem. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So as I'm cutting this hoof block away, I've actually carved away this part of the hoof and it looks like there's not a problem underneath, but this has been on for a good few weeks now. So we are gonna need to get it off to make sure that there's nothing underneath and to make sure that this glue doesn't fail in the meantime. And for that, I'm gonna use the grinder. I think you can see how good a demonstration it is of just how tough these blocks are. Even the grinder doesn't want to grind through them. Bloody hell. You see, this is why this block might have failed and why it was really important to take this off. Her hoof is naturally shedding away. I've shown you this before, it's called pith. So eventually the whole hoof would do this and that block would just fall off, just like the powder. Now that we've removed all of that powdery hoof horn that would have fallen away, putting this new fresh block on will mean that it lasts for the next eight, nine, ten weeks maybe. And in that time, this cow should have fully healed. Just clean it up. 
if we do a side-by-side -side comparison here between the foot now as it is at the end of the trim and the foot as it was at the end of the last trim, you can see a huge difference. And that is a huge positive difference for this cow's comfort. Right, let's let her out, say goodbye to you and end this video. This was the Hoof GP and this is how cow 447 is walking now.